Now I'd like to start the show with a big thank you to Kalo McKinnon. I hope I've got your name right, Kalo. Uh, you suggested to me on the recent golden syrup recipe, would I make treacle scones? And I did make them. Actually, I did make my homemade treacle as well. Uh, I'll be putting that recipe up for you very shortly. But I made those treacle scones and they were so, so delicious that I'm gonna share the recipe with you now. This is probably one of my favorite scones at the moment. You're gonna love it. We we'll start with our flour. I've got 200 grams. It's about one and two thirds of a cup. And we're just using all purpose flour here. You actually could use self-raising flour, but if like me, you're using all purpose flour, add two teaspoons of baking powder in there. I want some spices. I've got half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of mixed spice. 25 grams or two tablespoons of sugar. And I've got 50 grams, that's about half a stick of softened butter. I'm just gonna cut it up and pop it in there. Now take your thumbs and fingers and just rub these dry ingredients together. We don't want to overwork it, but we're gonna make a nice breadcrumb. So now I've rubbed the butter into the dry ingredients. I've got this nice loose crumb. Into that we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of treacle. Now I've got a cup here and I'm just going to line the inside with a little bit of cooking oil. And now we're gonna take that beautiful treacle now by just oiling the cup, it just comes away nice and clean like that. Now start to cut that treacle in with the flour. Now using the same cup, I've got about a quarter of a cup of full cream milk. I'm gonna put almost all of it in. I might keep a little bit back. Now take that off of the fork now. And we want this dough to bind together. Hopefully there's enough milk, otherwise we'll add that other little bit in. Actually, I can tell from the feel of this, we're not gonna need that extra bit of milk. Now, we don't want to overwork this dough, but we're gonna pull it, form it up into a circle. So I'm just gonna dust a little flour over my countertop. I'm just using my hands to pat down the dough. We don't need to roll this out. Then I'm gonna take my heart-shaped cookie cutter. We're gonna push it down and cut out our first scone. With this amount of dough, I should be able to make four of my heart-shaped scones. Of course, if you want to make more, you could just double the recipe. And I'll pop that scone down on a lined baking tray. Now I have those delicious treacle scones ready to go in the oven. I preheated it at 200 degrees Celsius, that's about 400 Fahrenheit. And we only have to bake these for about 10 to 12 minutes. My, this place smells so good. Now I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit and I'll show you how we're gonna serve them. Okay, Michelle's in the other room, the scones have cooled down and I'm just gonna prep one Valentine style for her. Now, of course, if you're just doing these as standard scones, it doesn't matter, but you should still take the effort to present them nicely. Now, a good scone should not even really need cutting. We should be able to pull it apart. I'm just gonna poke some little perforations around the outside here. Pull that scone open, just look how gorgeous that is. I've got some mascarpone cream here. Now, you could use any cream you like. I'm just gonna pop some little kisses around here. I'm gonna trickle some beautiful dark treacle over the top of this scone just to give it some extra flavor. I've got a little powdered sugar over the top, over that cookie as well. Stand my little biscuit on the side there. Now I'm gonna give her a coffee. And there you have it, a gorgeous dark treacle scone ready for the person you love. So I always like to try these on camera. Here is mine. Still just a little bit warm. Mm. My, they're good. As I say, it's like the burnt corner of a beautiful pie, but all packed into one delicious scone. If you decide to make these, and why shouldn't you? You really should. Share the love. Give me the thumbs up. And whatever shape you make them in, send me a picture across on any social media you like. Be good and I will see you in the next video. Take care.